Hello everyone, it's Jen here, also known as the Diamond Painting Gamer and today we have got one from the stash. So this, uh, as you may see, is uh, have noticed, sorry, is a Diamond Dots um, painting. It's just a small one. It is called Paisley Groove and it is, um, well it says the fabric size is 25 by 25 and the design size is 20 by 20. So yes, it is a partial, and it also looks like we've got some special shapes there. Now, um, Diamond Dots in the UK sell through Hobbycraft. So yep, this is one of the very few um, uh, brands, diamond painting uh, companies that will, you know, you can pick up in the shops rather than have to go online for. Now, I've never done um, a Diamond Dots before, so, yep, I was in Hobby Craft and I thought, you know what, I'll just pick up a little one and see what it's like. So, um, here's the painting here. It's in a, a dust bag. I think I must have opened this uh, when I got it, just to have a quick look, because, um, you know, it's obviously, it looks like it's been opened. <laughs> um... We'll have a little look at the toolkit. So I've heard the Diamond Dots toolkits are actually reasonably nice. Um, so we have a grey tray. It's kind of like the white trays, it's just grey. And we have um, a pen, just a basic plastic pen with a purple comfort grip. Uh, we have a, some a branded Diamond Dots caddy of wax. And just the one plate of wax in there and we have quite a few of these uh grip seal bags i wonder if there's another wonder if there's just uh, the same number as there are colors actually i won't use the, the bags anyway i don't like to use the bags for um kitting up into um i kind of use them for storage and other bits and pieces anyway that's our toolkit Let's look at the canvas and then we'll have a look at the drills. So yes, it is a it is a partial. Um, it is also poured glue. I definitely opened this because um, I've thrown out the instruction sheet. So there, there is no instruction sheet in this. So yes, I must have opened it. And uh, yeah, discarded the instruction sheet. So I have seen other unboxings of Diamond Art, uh, sorry, Diamond Art Studio, I was going to say that, Diamond Dots. Um, I have seen other unboxings of Diamond Dots and there, there is a rather um, wordy, large instruction sheet. So yeah, I must have taken it out. Okay, so it's a little bit curled. Um, canvas um, kind of reminds me of the canvases that you get from uh, Dreamer Designs. It's kind of that sort of feel. Um, kind of very kind of nylon-y, synthetic -y. Um, it's, it's got scalloped edges. It's uh, been, uh, you know, poked at the edge there, you know holes at the edge to stop it from fraying and there are one two three four five six seven regular colors and one two three four um special shapes um now i do know that diamond dots don't use cmc numbers they have their own um numbering system and i think that um you know, there are, you know, there are conversion charts out there if you want to save your drills um, under the DMC codes. I don't think I'll be saving the regular ones. Plus, I'll save my special shapes, so. Let's look and see what they have. Right, let's look at the regular drills first. Um, so, um, let's come down and we can see them in close-up. Actually, we might stay down here because, you know, 
It's, it's quite a small painting. <laughs> you can't really see it very well from high up. Um, so, yeah. So, we've got some, uh, yeah, some nice regular drills. They do look very nice. I know that um, the green, salmon pink, red, pale orange, and magenta. Now, I do know Diamond Dots, um, as I was about to say, actually sell pots of drills. So... Oh, we have a couple of ABs. We've got a nice uh, green, pale green. And we also have a white. And let's look at the specials. Uh, we have some paralyzed or AB coated uh, white domes. And the same again on the red domes. They are really pretty. Oh, and we have larger uh ab coated uh white domes and we have got one single solitary um a red dome um i think yes the the red one will go here where number four is it's only given us one so better not drop it uh we do have a spare i think for the whites the white one is number three oh, sorry oh no we don't we have a oh yes we have a spare one for the white we've got a spare one for the white it would have been nice to have a spare one for the red just in case but um, yeah, it's very nice. Drill field is nice and clear. And uh, what I'm going to do, because this is so tiny um, and there's not a lot of drilling in it to be fair, even though there are quite a few colors, I am going to uh, do this as a time lapse and I will, um, show you the, the completion at the end you can watch me do the time lapse and i'll and you can see the completion at the end so yep let's uh let's get drilling <laughs> finished piece um it's a uh, small but beautiful <laughs> drills were absolutely fantastic quality i think i only pulled out two or three which were a bit trashy um excuse the noise outside if you can hear it that's uh, the neighbors working in the garden don't know what they're doing <laughs> um i did uh, i'm going to keep my ab's so uh, the green and the the white <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> I did think I was going to run out of the white at one point. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's not a lot left. But there was enough to do the painting. Uh, I'm also going to keep my specials, so these little domes. Yeah, going to keep a hold of those. I just worked straight out to the bags and trays on this because there were just so few colours. <clears throat> so, so 11 colours all together. So, yeah, I just kind of have enough trays kicking around that I could... I could just work straight from the trays. Uh, I did use the Diamond Dots wax because uh, I'd never used it before. Um, it was very, very soft. Um, I didn't have to fill, only, I think I only refilled my pen twice. So the first was the initial one and then I topped it up a bit later on. Um, you know, it was it's quite soft for me. I think it's too soft for me, um, this wax, but... It, you know it did the job it did the job um will i buy from diamond dots again maybe uh they are quite expensive they are quite expensive 
I think that's because they do sell through shops. Um, maybe wait for a sale <laughs> uh, before picking another one up. This actually was quite pricey. It cost me probably, I don't know, don't know exactly, maybe about £12, £14 or something. And it wasn't in the sale. Um, so, so yeah, it, for, for what it is, it's quite expensive. Uh... But yeah, I, I liked it well enough. I liked it well enough. Now, um, did you like the time lapse? Uh, I'd be interested to know um, because if you do like the time lapse, I might make a feature, um, you know, of of my channel. Do do one every now and again. Um, yep. Yeah. So uh, if you could let me know in the comment section whether you like the time lapse, that would be great. So um that's it for this one um please hit the thumbs up uh, button if you have liked what you've seen today and if you haven't subscribed already oops and uh you would like to please hit that subscribe button on the way out i'd love you to and i'd love to have you uh, join me on my channel so um yeah thank you very very much for watching guys and i'll see you all in my next video cheerio